Hello, welcome to Acoustic Parody. So, Mick here. Pete here. That was lovely. Yes. Wow. We've, we've entered the world of um, open tunings. Dad, gad. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, open E. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Great. Which sounds. seems to suit um, smaller body guitars sometimes, if you want to play that way. Uh, and we, uh, what are we doing? Larive. Larive. Is it Larive? Larive. Friends, isn't it? Yeah. Larive? Larive? Larive. 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 So, Jean Larive, um, French Canadian chap, been building guitars for blooming years. Um, yeah. If you think about the great North American guitar builders, you've got all your brands that you know about Martin, Taylor, Gibson. Uh, yeah. Jean Larive was building guitars in uh, Canada, built loads of guitars in Canada, uh, and now builds guitars in. California. Sunny California. Yeah. And he is, if I may express an opinion, Peter, do you think? You can do whatever you like. This is I think YouTube. He's, <laughs> I think he's right up there. I think if you're considering a, um, a high quality American made guitar, I think Jean Larive is in there. He's I think in... you're completely. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. These guitars are. I remember seeing these for the first time when I was younger. In about what do you say, 1951 or something? Yeah, <laughs> not that long ago, but uh, and just back in your forties. Back in my forties, <laughs> when when I was when I first noticed them, um, a friend of mine got one, one um, uh, like a jumbo size. Yeah, and it just sounds amazing. Yeah, and I was very jealous. I was very jealous with his guitar. Danish guy, which is really weird. And he still from, has that guitar. From Daneland. I, interestingly, seeing as we're on an international theme, we're talking about French Canadians, uh, Canada, America, and now Daneland. <laughs> <laughs> Daneland. <laughs> I heard on the radio today that uh, Danish people uh, are the happiest people on earth. Uh, correct. We're just happy all the time. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people from Denmark. So there we go. I think it's just something about how the way the society works and, it, how, and what people get out of... Uh, from the taxes. We're not going to get into all that stuff. Yeah, it explains a lot, but, Pete. Yeah. 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 Sort of, yay, happy, happy. Yeah. Actually, John Larivet yeah. is a very happy guy too. Yeah. He's a really lovely guy. Have met, you met him? Met him a few times, yeah. um, interviewed him a couple of times, um, and he's a super chilled chap. Yeah. And he cares about quality, which you can see and, I mean, in every let's turn line. These, let's turn these things these around. Look at this. Yeah. But these are special editions, right? Um, yep. Absolutely stunning guitars. I must say they are so pretty and so well done. There's, yeah, there's the, not a thing that's put on anything on these guitars. Clean, 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 clean. So they're part of. So Larive's um, guitars essentially start at 03, and yeah. then you then you go up in numbers and they become uh, more premium, more expensive. 03 is sort of like the entry level called the recording series. Yeah. Uh, and they're available uh, with usually with mahogany backs and sides, I think. Yeah. However, these are, as you say, special editions. This is zebra wood, zebrano. Zebrano, yeah. All the way from S Africa. Stunning piece yeah. of wood. Uh, they feel a little bit heavier um, to me than, than like, say, a rosewood guitar would, I yeah. think. But as as, uh, as we talked about, it's it, it's probably because it's it's a bit of a more dense wood. Dense wood, yeah. So it does weigh a little bit more. Um, it's a, it, interesting. One of the things that... Um, We've spoken about with John Larive before is p when you look at a piece of wood, the darker it is in colour, the darker you think it's going to sound because that seems to be the mm. way that it is with mahogany and rosewood. Mm. It's a complete um, generalisation. Um, yeah. This doesn't, just to make the point, doesn't sound anything like maple. No, 
<laughs> sounds very dark. Yeah, it sounds Doesn't more it? to me. It sounds more like um, it sounds closer to a rosewood. Yeah. Uh, than it does. I mean, maybe a, between yeah. mahogany and rosewood. Between maybe mahogany and rosewood. Why not? Yeah. Let's do that. And uh, well, and and the the plus side is it looks stunning. Obviously, yeah. You think it looks Finished great. all over in this really nice satin. Satin, <laughs> satin um, neck. Some people really like glossy guitars. Some people really like satin guitars. Yeah. Well, these it, uh, I've got a few of of this sort of finished guitars, and they when you do play them, they do tend to gloss up a little bit. Yeah. Well, the, even the, the you're areas. Just doing that's going to gloss that bit. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's just knocked about sixty quid off. Uh, <laughs> I better buy it then. Oops. Uh, they, they, you know. So where you play them here, and and if you're strumming down here, they they do tend to do that. But yeah. that's that. You know, it's guitars. You have to play them. Yeah. That's what they're there for. Um, so yeah, after that, um, premium appointments, so solid mahogany neck, that, and again, we've said this before, but that's what colour mahogany is generally, it's not red, it gets stained red and brown, Yeah. Uh, which is really lovely. Uh, yeah. It is a single piece for it's a single neck, piece. Yeah. It is a single piece. headstock and heel by the looks of things, unless yeah. my eyes deceive me. Unless no. it's joined down the middle, is it joined down the middle? Sometimes, Larabe joins down the middle on the... Don't it doesn't, I didn't... When I checked, it doesn't look like that to me, so it's a solid piece. Yeah, I think it is a solid piece. It's a solid piece, which is... And, and these are also priced very reasonable, actually. These are the entry level, uh, so... Yeah, um, priced very reasonably for a premium guitar, we should say. Yeah, well... Yeah, it's not like 299 quid, it's more no. like 1,000 quid, 1,200 yeah. quid, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and, that, and, that and again, uh, this is March 2016, yeah. in case you're so watching on in, Dave. In 10 years from now, so you might not even... These might not even be there anymore. We'll still be here, though. <laughs> <laughs> we will still be here. Ebony uh, bridge and fingerboard. Yeah, I like the nice binding. Very lovely maple binding. Lovely. Super tidy. Absolutely. Uh, Canadian up, yeah. spruce. Oh yes, Canadian spruce. Top. Yeah. Um, and it, it looks to me scallop bracing. Scallop bracing. Let me have a look at your top there. And like these, this is two pieces as well, isn't it? So they're quarters on. I can imagine the two pieces. Yeah. Quarters on tops. That's how you do it. Put top, together, how you do a top. Yeah, you, yeah. You, they take a piece of wood and then they cut that in half, and then they take a half, cut that in half, take that, cut that in half, and so on and so forth till they get two pieces. So when you look at a guitar, it, it'll, it'll be book bookmatched to. So if it has a line here, for instance, and a line there, that's going to be book matched. Neck profiles, what have we got? Uh, they don't give a name to it, but it's. Um, it feels like one three quarters. One and three quarters at the nut, yeah, so yeah. it's kind of. What is one and three quarters? It's four. T four point eight millimeters, I think. Yeah, all well, thereabouts. Yeah. But it's you know it's up to the hand how it feels. This feels nice. It feels like the neck is a little bit slimmer no, than than normal. Yeah. Um. So almost a little flat here in the back. A little bit maybe. <coughs> which is which is 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 great. More D than C, would you say, Pete? More D than C. Yeah. I would say. And uh, I think we should hear some tones. They're beautiful guitars. I really do like them. Yeah, so super clean, super clean lines yeah. everywhere. Which I, no pickups in here. I always like. No, just straight uh, acoustics. Yeah, you can of course have any pickup put in here you, you, you like. You know, people prefer to put different pickups, so whether, whether it's a sound hole pickup or it's a it's a on the saddle pickup, you can have that put in at your local dealer. Looks like it's all, it looks like it's ready reamed for a pickup. Possibly. Could yeah, be. There are electric options. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, so Probably. there are electric options on these, so yeah. uh, you can have them put in, which is yeah. great as well. Take them out and gig them. They come with cases, really nice cases actually, uh, which is also a premium. You know, if you buy a guitar and you spend, let's say, about a thousand pounds for it, it's nice to get a case. But if you don't get a case, then you have to spend two hundred quid on a case. Yeah, if you yeah. want a nice case, and if these are nice cases. cases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, let's hear some tones. Okay. Uh, well, I'm still in open E, so you're still in open E, but you this one is small. Much oh, yeah. smaller than this. Body dimensions. Body dimensions. Let's do that. Right. Um, so this, uh, Larivee calls this an OM. It's actually slightly bigger than uh, the traditional OM by Martin. It's yeah. slightly deeper and it's ever so slightly wider, but not by very much. Um, so it's a slightly bigger guitar. Would it be between the, the uh, say like an, an M shape or like a triple, uh, quadruple four? Uh, uh, o, or this o, is where my knowledge things. ends, Pete. Okay. I can tell you that it's 15 and a quarter inches across the way okay. about, and it is 4.25 deep. Okay, so that's yeah. You know, so you and got this the is there. four and a half deep, so a little bit deeper, and 13.25 across. Parlor. This one has a 24 inch scale. Okay. It has 25 and a half. Okay. So that's like yeah. long scale. It long scale is like yeah. a tool. 
Which is why they call uh, it an OM. Yeah, an OM, yeah, an orchestral yeah. model, yeah. Um, great, but let's so we hear some tones. Do you want to start with yours? Okay, um, let's go to... So, um, parlor guitars always make me want to kind of... your book that is coming out, Mick Taylor's uh, Picking for Parlor Guitar, Volume 1, coming out. So it's got that, <laughs> it's got that, it's got quite a nice mid-range, um, good good for finger style and all of that. I'll tune it up Yeah, to, it pops out in the mid-range, mid doesn't it? Definitely. Yeah, they definitely, for me that's what you want to be doing on a Parlor Guitar. I mean, you can strum it by all means, which we'll do in a sec, but um, yeah. let me, I'll just get it uh, by the magic of YouTube, we'll get it back to standard tuning. I mean, yeah. Cool, so let's uh, do a little bit of picking on this. I'm not as uh, magic fingerly as you are on the on the picking it's side. It's a total it. party piece. It's a bit, pretty much the only finger picking thing I can play. But <laughs> well, you know what? It impressed yeah. me. And you, you might hear it in some demos in the future, <laughs> as you may well have heard it on some demos in the past. I did compose it though. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Did you write it? Yeah. Goodness. Wow. Beautiful, really. Yes, so I must buy that volume one, Mick Taylor. Parlor picking via Eric Roach, via all the other awesome <laughs> fingerstyle guitar players out there, just nick a bit here just and there. there. Yeah, but that's, you know what? That's fine. I, 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 um, when I, the acoustic stuff I've done has been mostly plugging along to uh, somebody singing in the background. So um, me too. Yeah. Anyway, we got the AKG four one four five ones here. C four five one. Sixtieth anniversary. Mm, Fiftieth anniversary. Sixty. Sixty fifth anniversary. Sixty fifth anniversary. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a long time they've been making those. Anyway, they sound great, so let's have a little listen on this one here. See if I can come up with something new to play, that's always the problem, isn't it? That was a bit of a balance, warmth. It's they say they say if you want a guitar to do everything, get an OM. Yeah, don't they? and that's what I've got an OM as Who, well. Whoever they are, but whoever they. That's what they, they say. They all say a lot of things, don't they? they? they say I mean, that was that was stunning, wasn't it? Because it just rings as well. <laughs> Definitely tell there's a difference in yeah. the size. Shorter yeah. string length, um, smaller body, obviously you're going to get much more mid-range, whereas this you've got more bass and treble, yeah. it's, it's ultimately a more balanced instrument, which if you want to cover a wider range of styles than that, but if you want to plink away on your... Uh, <laughs> Definitely, uh, you know, yeah. that, this lends itself to a, a, a wide range of of different styles. Yeah. Where that one might be a little, little bit more uh, sort of limited. But all, but remember, traveling with a guitar that is great. So yeah. if you are traveling around, it, this is much much smaller to, to carry. It really, I mean, you know, if if you if that sort and of picking cool. country bluesy all the things that were played on parlor guitars lovely finger style pieces yeah you know that extra warmth in the mid-range
That's got anyway. that's got really nice warmth. My good lord, it sounds great. Guitar, well, yeah, yeah. doesn't it? it let's, really um, sounds good. Let's hear them strum the sex. Okay, give us strum a, give us the, a... the good old G chord strum out. Okay. So it's yeah. a very a very different sound, but very, you know, I, on a lot of um, quite often on a contemporary pop song, you'll hear uh, a much more mid rich acoustic with a little bit of overdrive in there, just just slamming behind, slamming around yeah, yeah, behind, yeah, because yeah. yeah. you don't always want that pristine, you know, masses of bass and treble and presence no. and all of that. Sometimes that kind of more if it's in a mix, if it sits in a mix, you know, then, yeah. then it's a different way of recording guitars and all that different stuff. This this just if it's just kind of a Singer songwriter style, my good lord, this is good. Yeah. I don't want to put this down now. I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's really annoying. Because I don't need another guitar, but my good lord, this is great. Great for that. Nice. That That's is great. Nice that. That's what you want to do. Cool. Anyway, you right. can play that all day long. These guitars are lovely. There anyway. we are then. Um, Larive. Oh, oh no. P O three Z Zavano Z. And O M three O O M O three Z for for Zebra Zebrano. Beautiful guitars. Good stuff. Oh, I'm a big fan. Always have been. This could be my first Larive guitar. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Pete. I'm Mick. Acoustic Paradiso on Anderson's TV. See you later. Cheerio. Bye. Oh my good lord. Thank you.